meantime, let's talk more about reconciliation here. Republicans are railing against using reconciliation to pass health care reform. So it sounds like a good time for a fact check. Uh, CNN executive producer Suzanne Simons joins us. And Suzanne, uh, okay. Reconciliation. <laughs> I had to read it a couple times over just to make sure I'm getting it. I'm no right. congressional correspondent. But we have heard from the White House saying, you know, when you look at the health care summit from last week where we saw those eight yes. Republican senators and they're saying no to reconciliation, yet you've checked out the past. Yes. Well, one thing we want to do to kind of help get through those weeds that, that we all have been talking about this morning yeah. is take the things that people are saying on our air and fact check them. So last week, uh, CNN White House advisor David Axelrod told CNN that every single Republican senator who was in that room last week uh -huh. has voted in the past on reconciliation issues in favor of. So we wanted to break that down and see if it's actually true, and that's what we did. So what'd you find? So here's what we found. If you take a look back in 2001, which you talked about briefly already, President Bush pushed through tax cuts that totaled 1.35 trillion with a T dollars. Yes. Now five senators who were at that summit voted for the Economic Growth and Tax Relief Reconciliation Act. Mm -hmm. They were Mitch McConnell, John Kyle, Michael Enzi, Charles Grassley, and John McCain. In 2003, once again, five Republican senators who were present at the summit voted for the Jobs and Growth Tax Relief Reconciliation Act. Lamar Alexander, Senator Enzi, Senator Grassley, Senator Kyle again, and Senator McConnell. Now jump ahead a little bit to 2005. There was a Reconciled Deficit Reduction Act. Now we heard uh, Senator Tom Coburn before we heard from Dana Bash there mm -hmm. saying this is just not a good idea, it's mm -hmm. not gonna work. Well, well, wait a second, he also voted in favor of that act in 2005. Um, then in 2007, the remaining Republican senator who was in that room last week, John Barrasso of Wyoming, voted in favor of the Reconciled College Cost Reduction Act of 2007. So holding people accountable, uh, David Axelrod was actually right that every single Republican senator who was in that room last Thursday during the seven and a half hour summit right. has voted in the past for reconciliation. So anytime, I think it's important to point out to our viewers, anytime we see something here at yes. CNN pop up, a guest pop up on our air and we think, wait a minute, is that right? You're the gal. Exactly. The fact, check. the fact check desk. We have a whole team of really smart, really bright people. Uh, you can reach us at factcheck at CNN.com. So yeah, it definitely. When you hear things come up and, and people out there hear stuff, let us know. We're going to check it and we're going to hold them accountable for it. Excellent. Suzanne, thank you. Thank you. All right.